Good morning. God will plead his case with how many people? Our reading today is from Jeremiah chapter 25, verses 30 to 33. Therefore prophesy against them all these words and say to them, The Lord will roar from on high and utter his voice from his holy habitation. He will roar mightily against his fold. He will give a shout as those who tread the grapes against all the inhabitants of the earth. A noise will come to the ends of the earth, for the Lord has a controversy with the nations. He will plead his case with all flesh. He will give those who are wicked to the sword, says the Lord. Thus says the Lord of hosts, Behold, disaster shall go forth from nation to nation, and a great whirlwind shall be raised up from the farthest parts of the earth. And at that day the slain of the Lord shall be from one end of the earth even to the other end of the earth. They shall not be lamented, or gathered, or buried. They shall become refuse on the ground. A day is coming when the Lord will end all the suffering, all the pride and vanity and futility of this fallen human project. When people live as though there is no God, the horizon of their life is shrunken. They think that the best they could do in this life is to exploit others, act upon others, you know, before they themselves are acted upon. You know, it's the draw of the cards. Uh, I just happen to turn out uh, stronger, smarter, more cunning than other people, so I will take full advantage of them and get my little piece of the pie while I still can. That's kind of a certain attitude that sometimes comes out. They think that there's no judgment but the ticking clock of one's biological life. You know, tick, 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 and then we die. It goes by really quick. So take what you can before you cease to exist. You know, run with the sharks. Now, through Jeremiah, God speaks to this. He shows us there is an ultimate morality. And it says quite clearly here, he will give those who are wicked to the sword. I mean, he's he will execute judgment on those who choose selfishness. And right now, God is making his case. He's, he's calling on every, every human person to choose the example man, to choose Jesus as our pattern for living. Jesus lived to serve others rather than himself. He gave his life as a ransom for all. Jesus is the escape hatch. He's the escape pod. He's the, he's the off-ramp. He's the way out. He's the solution. Jesus is the cavalry coming over the hill at the last moment. Rather than living like a fly who, in the moment, you know, experiences this happy feeling of the, the heat and the aroma of the fresh manure, rather than living like that, all eternity stretches out before us, a life of, of quality goodness, joy, joy, enduring joy. You know, the criminal has a moment of happiness, you know, when he takes the money and he flees out the door of the bank and just in that moment, he's, he's kind of happy. But the steady worker, the responsible earner that just toils on, he has the satisfaction of providing for his children, his family, his friends and loved ones, providing an enduring goodness. He has true joy knowing that his life has been a blessing to others, not a curse. Oh, friends, we can turn to Jesus. We can go in the right pathway. God has a controversy with the nations. We're all in it. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we need to be right. Uh, it is difficult for us to be right because we are used to getting it all our own way. So now, Lord, we ask that you'll again show us in your word, show us the life of Jesus, the values of Jesus. May we aspire to those. May those things become the, the high things in our, our heart. Help us to be right, Lord, and to be a blessing out in this world and not a curse. Lord, we know your judgment is coming on all flesh, and we, uh, we want to be right, Lord. We want to be helping others escape those things, Lord, with Jesus. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord. Would you please just use us even just today uh, to help somebody in the right path? In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So we're all in this prophecy. We're all choosing sides. How far will you go in choosing to be like Jesus? A question for us all today. God be with you.